Hi my crafty friends, welcome back. This is my second card in my full deck challenge. I'm going to do it very, very textured. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know how much I love texture. So this is going to be full of texture. So I'm going to start with a layer of Mod Podge and adding some tissue paper from a dress pattern. Now you don't have to use Mod Podge, you could use craft glue, you could also use a glue stick or um, a glue medium, anything that you have and what the idea is is when you're putting down the tissue paper to not make it very smooth as you can see i've put some ripples in and i'm bunching it up here and there this will add to the texture when we add the top layers so put layers on top of layers and leave it to bunch up a little bit just a quick note be sure to dry each layer well before you go into the next layer i'm now adding some distress ink on the edges and then another layer of Mod Podge to seal the ink, otherwise it'll smudge. For the next step, I'm going to add some texture paste. If you don't have texture paste, you could add some baby powder to some gesso to thicken it up a little bit. I'm going to use a palette knife. You could also use an old credit card or a piece of cardboard. And we're just going to scrape it on and let it go over the textured layers underneath it's not going to be smooth we want chunky bits and smoother bits and some of the bottom layers shining through for the next step we're going to add some color i'm going to use the color burst concentrated powders you could use watercolors acrylics gelato crayons anything you have i'm just putting a little drop they're very very concentrated and then spraying water and as you can see the color picks up and just spreads it's absolutely magnificent i love the magic that happens with these powders i'm just letting it run over the textured areas and i'm going to leave it just like that there's some areas that are covered some are not and then i've dried it and i just love the ripply effects that it's made just a few drops of black splatter with acrylic paint just for some contrast. I'm now just doing an edging with a marker. I'm doing it very roughly. It's not neat or straight. I want it to look very bumpy and irregular. You could also use a sewing machine and stitch this, but I wanted to use the pen. We're now going to add some embellishments just to decorate our card. I'm going to use different elements and I'm just going to move them around and just try and see what works and just layer them up. I have this little wooden bird that I want to use so I'm just going to play with the different elements until I find something that I find appealing. I have a little trick that I do with the cheesecloth sometimes. I add a little bit of gesso just here and there in some blobs and spread it out in some areas. And once it dries, it actually goes like crispy and you can see the beautiful texture. It adds a beautiful dimension to your projects. I'm just showing you a bit of a close up just so you can see the different dimensions of the card. And then you can see the cheesecloth is all crispy with the blobbies on. I absolutely love this and I'm going to pop that just under the bird with some of the hessian string and we're almost done. I'm just going to attach everything with a hot glue gun. This card actually went pretty quickly. I finished it in about 25 minutes, including the drying time. So I just want to show you another close up of the card. It's quite difficult to see on the video, but it has such beautiful texture and the way the colors have blended, I think it came out really, really lovely. And you can see the print from the tissue paper shining through the bottom too. So you can just see all the layers and the dimension. We're just now going to add a little eyelet to the corner so we can add it to the ring for the collection of the full deck. 
I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspired you to create something too. If you do create any of my projects, please use hashtag Shanuki, which is the same as my YouTube name, so I can see the projects that you create. Thanks again. I hope you subscribe so you can see upcoming videos and the rest of my full deck challenge. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.